Welcome to all of you, the Daily Review. Shout out to the Geomancer crew. Um, let's get straight on to it. So, um, we've always been saying that they're going to try and make it so hard and inconvenient and expensive for you to travel. And look at the flights from Paris to London went from 66 to 452. All because of the supposed quarantine rules that they're doing now. And then they released this list of um, towns and cities in England, which they believe are, are being watched because their <coughs> coronavirus um, cases are so high. So think about all the people, all the old people, all the people with um, health conditions and all these 29 places are going to be panicking, fear kicks in, stress, and that's how you get illness. So then it won't catch that virus, but they'll probably die from something else. But then you would just call it COVID anyway, because we, you admitted your lies. Um, this story is quite strange because they've been talking about it a lot. And um, basically this teenage traveler, he's 17 and he's been jailed for life for a random murder of a 47 year old woman. And it shows a picture of him, you know, with her in <clears throat> the trash can, supposedly. But his parents are wearing T-shirts, claiming that he's innocent, and the defence for the kid said something like he was paid a lot of money to dispose of a body or something. So, I don't know. Don't know about that one. This is hilarious. OK. Football crowds are giving the green light to return to matches next month, but the government, because the government is going to ease lockdown rules, but fans face signing a code of conduct which could include a ban on, wait for it, not spitting or um, being racist, but no, singing. Yeah, you got it. And then look at this page here. Fans will be urged not to chant or sing when they're allowed back into stadiums next month. <laughs> Fans will be told to keep their mouths shut for fear of spreading coronavirus in the stands. Any person with a brain reading that must think oh, they're taking, they're taking, <laughs> they're taking me for a ride here. Come on now. So you can't sing and you can't open your mouth. So, so basically you just want robots there. Yeah? <laughs> Again with this. Um, quarantine thing. I had to leave our children behind. Last of 160,000 exhausted Brits raced through the night from France to beat the 4am quarantine deadline. So even now on holiday they're making you panic and fear and giving you deadlines. Oh my god. And then you pose for the photos with your mask. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and then this, look at this, right? Local lockdowns could be banned after new evidence from scientists. So you're thinking, what, they're really going to stop local lockdowns because scientists are saying they're bad or something? No, 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 no. All they're saying is the term local lockdown could be banned because the words suggest punishment and blame, which left people in Leicester who was locked down feeling like lepers and the laughing stock of England, yeah. Everyone is thinking of people who supposedly got a high risk of uh, dying from a virus. Yeah, we're all calling you laughing stocks. What a load of crap. And then just let's spare a moment's thought for all the Chinese who love their chicken wings imported from Brazil because I'm afraid you can't enjoy them anymore because they found coronavirus on your frozen chicken wings. Oh dear. Anyway, remember, they want you to stay dumb. They're trying to control the people and they want to take lives. Okay, so we have got to stay awake, control our reality and take good advice. That was a daily review for all of you. Peace and blessings till the next time.